Hi, my name's David. Welcome back to the next episode of Up The Shed. This week we've got a broken leather fid or spike to repair. The handle has been hammered on all of its life and it's now finally broken and cracked. So we're going to replace that, uh, maybe give it a, a little bit of a clean up and a polish and uh, see what we can do to extend the life of this uh, vintage piece of uh, tooling. Um, so stick around and hopefully you enjoy. Okay, well, here is the fid. As you can see, the handle's broken, or it's been pounded upon quite a lot. So, what we're going to do, we're going to replace that. Now, I did say a piece of mahogany, but I've got a piece of mahogany. I found a piece of cherry. But I've also found what I believe to be an ash handle, which came off essentially the other half to the secateurs or uh, shears so I think I'm going to use that because this is very very close to the actual size that I need we know it's good handle material so um, I think that's what we're going to use okay so I want to chuck this up in the wood lathe and um, get it ready for turning and I'll bring you back then so off camera I took the handle off of the fid and it was indeed broken so uh, what we'll do is we'll transfer these measurements onto this piece of wood and then uh, we can start turning Well it seems that the video recording demons have struck again. I press pause instead of record on the last segment when I was actually uh, turning this down. But as you can see we've now got what resembles this handle. Made this a little bit straighter and I've added this bit to the end and what we're going to do is we're going to actually add a, a metal ferrule up here to save the handle when it's being hit. Um, by wh whoever's using it. Um, this will need a little bit of sanding down here to get the brass ferrule back on but as you can see we're uh, we're nearly there. So I'm going to get this back off of the lathe and onto the bench. We'll cut the ends off and um, then we'll look at making the ferrule for this end on the on the metal lathe and I'll, uh, I'll bring you back when we're when we're there. Okay, so we're back at the bench. We need to do a little bit of fit then just to get the ferrule to fit over this end of the handle. And then we'll cut this end down and again we'll take off any excess. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the ferrule first, make sure that's how I need it and want it, and then I'm going to cut this down afterwards and make this fit the ferrule. I feel that that will be a lot easier to do um, at this stage but I'm happy with the handle so that's all good so I'm going to do the, the uh, sanding and, and getting this fitting um, off camera and then we'll go over to the metal lathe as I said before we'll mount the, I've got some mild steel we'll just mount that in the lathe and start turning to the sort of dimensions that we want for, for this ferrule for this end um, once that's done, that's, that's all fitted, we obviously need to drill this end and then we can look at mounting the spike maybe in the lathe, just giving it a quick polish all over um, and getting it back to sort of how it mostly came out of the factory hopefully. But um, yeah, so I'm going to do quite a bit of this off camera so there's not to waste too much video time and then I'll bring you back when we're ready to get on the, on the metal lathe. Okay, so we're back at the mini lathe now. As you can see, I've got some mild steel mounted in the three jaw chuck. So, this would be for the ferrule that goes on the end of the handle. 
the handle now has the brass ferrule fitted onto the end so we can now look at making the ferrule for the other end and then we'll make this fit the ferrule so we need to be 28 millimeters outside diameter and then looking at mortise chisels that I've got around the shed they're normally about two millimeters thick so then we'll cut a 26 millimeter internal ball okay so let's touch off and away we go okay so I'm just going to fit lock my carriage stop <coughs> Twenty eight point two nine there. Okay, so we're 28.01 there, which will leave us just a little bit on there to polish off. Okay, so we're now going to face the part and we'll set up the boring bar and bore the inside. Sitting at just over 24 millimeters, I think that'll do. Just to deeper that front edge. Just give it a little polish. So, fit the parting tool.
Okay, so handle's nearly complete. New ferrule to fit on the end. So essentially, we're doing this sort of idea as I used to do the mortise chisels. So we're going to cut this down and fit this. I'll do that off camera and then I'll bring you back um, when we start to clean up the actual spike itself. The handle still needs to be drilled. Uh, this hole needs to be just under 8mm. So no doubt I'll have to find an imperial drill for that to get close. And then uh, we can finish up this project. As I say, I'll get this done off camera and I'll bring you back when I've got this in the lathe. Okay, so we've got the spike in the lathe now. So we're just going to give it a good clean up. This looks like at one time this might have been knurled. So I might put that knurl back on um, before we install it into the handle. We're just going to give this a quick clean up and then uh, we'll be ready for the next stage. Yeah, that definitely looks like a knurl on there, so I think what we'll do is we'll mount that back in there. Okay, well, handle is now complete with ferrule at the top and the original one at the bottom. Holes being drilled, I did that off camera on the uh, metal lathe, made it a bit easier. The pin, <coughs> or the spike, has been cleaned, re nailed the end, and the hole is just slightly smaller, so I'm thinking. We should be able to tap this home with a block of wood. And there we have new handle. A slightly cleaner fit and a ferrule on the end to hopefully stop that spit out. Okay, well, that's this episode done really this, this week. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. If you did, like, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.